So, um, I'm uh, the secret garden party with uh, Robin Carr Harris. But Robin, what, what do you do? Uh, so, I'm a, a psychopharmacologist. I do brain imaging work with uh, psychedelic drugs. And we are at a festival where you can't help but think maybe some people have used psychedelic drugs. And um, drugs meter minutes have happened on dosing with GHB and powders and pills. But it seems that one of people's favourite psychedelic drugs is still magic mushrooms. Yeah. So I just wanted to know a little bit about your advice for people dosing on magic mushrooms. Yeah, sure. So um, to get the dose right, it's difficult. Uh, in the UK, people are probably going to be taking Liberty Cap mushrooms. So they're the little ones that have a kind of uh, nipple shaped uh, cap. Uh, and uh, usually when they're fresh they're quite dark brown but they can vary in color sometimes they're a bit white if they contain a high level of one of the ingredients uh, psychedelic ingredients of magic mushrooms called psilocin then they go a, a certain uh, bluish color um, sometimes if they're bruised they'll, they'll show this bluish color and it's 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 a kind of um, dephosphorylation and, and, and an um, increase in the concentration of um, psilocin in the mushroom. So is that when you pick them, break them, it gets the yeah, mushroom you might gets see it in the stalk, to uh, might become white, uh, you might see it around uh, the gills. Okay. Um, uh, it's a tricky thing to do, I mean the best way to pick the right mushroom, because you really don't want to pick the wrong one, um, is to be with someone who who really does know what they're doing and isn't just someone claiming to know, somebody who's done this a number of times before. Uh, they say that once you've picked your first Liberty Cap, you'll never make the mistake of, of not being able to identify a, a Liberty Cap again. Um, so, uh, an experienced gardener. An experienced gardener, yeah. Experienced tripper. Uh, and uh, that's the best way to go. In terms of the, the number to take, then uh, you'd be really playing on the safe side if you didn't take more than 10. Uh, I'm sure some listeners would hear that and say, what, you know, that's a, a wussy number to take. You could take uh, 20 and be fine or more, you know. Uh, but uh, this is about giving uh, um, uh, advice around um, being cautious. And and particularly this is people's first time. Yeah, and if it's their first time and they just want to know what it feels like, then why not take a low dose like 10? get a sense of what it feels like and then if you did want to increase the intensity then take a small number more and just just see where you're at with that number. In terms of redosing, how long does it take to come up on mushrooms and how long before you hit your peak dose so people can have an idea about redosing? So it would take about half an hour, sometimes it could be quite rapid um, but half an hour is about standard uh, so if it's been an hour, an hour plus and you haven't, you're not feeling anything, then the likelihood is either you've taken too few or you haven't taken psilocybin containing magic mushrooms. Uh, so uh, yeah, about half an hour, you should start feeling something, half an hour, 45 minutes. And in terms of people planning ahead, how long do people want to kind of think about before they can return to work or go to study? What's your hangover time? How long before people can expect their brains to be back to normal and functioning? So peak effects would be after about two and a half hours uh, with some uh, magic mushrooms that you eat and, and the effects will last for about four to five hours really and then there's a kind of afterglow. I mean people still report feeling that the world seems a little strange. There might be kind of uh, subtle geometric hallucinations that they see in their mind's eye when they close their eyes. Uh, also emotionally they might just feel often quite positive afterwards especially if they haven't had a overwhelming scary uh, bad trip you know um, so uh, and uh, I, I would advise I mean in the research that we do we uh, we ask that people and in, in fact we insist that people um, don't uh, cycle home or operate a, a motor vehicle when they leave the study center which is up well after that they've come down from the effects but I think that, that rule should apply for people taking it recreationally. You really don't want to take psychedelics and then go into work later on in the day, even if you've got a bar job or something. 24 hours? 24, 24 hours, hours is a good idea. Yeah, you know, once you've slept, had a sleep, and you wake up the next day, then you can function, you know.